Hi, I'm Don from 4911. In my previous tutorials, I've been showing everybody how to remove things with Photoshop Beta's Generative Fill. But you can also create things. And I'm not just talking about borders on a picture or anything. In my two examples here, let's create some realistic looking hair. Okay, in this first example here, got a great picture of this lady here, but you can tell the hair is uneven. So let's go L for the lasso tool, and let's just grab some of what she's got here. Go around. Now, in generative fill, type in create hair. Enter. Now, you will be given three options at first. One, two, three. Now, you can hit generate again, but I'm going to stick with number one here. And what you should do right away, copy the layer and make it a smart object. Now. Turn off the generative layer, hold your control key down, and hit the layer mask. Now, let's create a mask for the new hair. Control T to transform, and make it longer. Now, the cool thing is, is you can right click on the layer mask and go to select and mask. Now in here, let's choose the refine hair, and run your brush along the edge of the hair. Now, let's save it, output to layer mask, and now we've got some here. Let's refine it a bit, grab a brush, flow at about 10%, make sure you're coloring in black, and now let's clean it up. Clean up what you don't want or what you'd like, around the earring and such. Now let's look, before, after. Got a great extension and you created some hair. Now in this example, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous. L for the lasso tool. Let's grab some hair from around here, down across the shoulder and down. And we'll go up to generative fill, create, hair, generate. Now we got three examples that come up. One, two, and three. I like number three and I'm not even going to mess with it. You can refine it by, of course, copying the generative layer, turning it off, and make the new one a smart object. Now, hold control down, hit the layer mask, and make a layer mask on it. And you can alter it in any way you wish. What we can do, though, is you can see that there's a little line here. We want to remove that seam of where it created the hair. So grab your brush, lower it about 5%. Let's zoom in. You can see the little line here. Grab your brush, and let's just make that line go away. Make sure you're painting black. Control zero, out, before, after. The hair's evened out and looks great. In both these examples, using masking, select and mask, and the right brush settings, you can make the hair do exactly what you want it to do and fill in the gaps or make it longer, whatever you wish. If this video helped you at all, give me a like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. Leave a comment. I'm Don from Photo 911.